England go into their final group game against Ukraine tonight, knowing they only need a draw to progress to the quarter-finals. But the match will be a real challenge for Roy Hodgson's side, as they face the co-hosts in the hostile atmosphere of the Donbass Arena. Morale is high in the England camp after their enthralling 3-2 win against Sweden, and they will be given a further boost as star striker Wayne Rooney finally makes his tournament debut. England captain Stephen Gerrard spoke of Rooney's desire to make an impact for the national side. No, I'm not going to tell Wayne Rooney not to be fired up for this game. That's what Wayne Rooney's all about, you know, pressing, being aggressive in the right way, you know, being a top player. And the reason he's world class is because of what he showed, you know, up to up to today. Um, but obviously, we need them on the pitch. You know, any team that we, you know, when Wayne Rooney's involved, you need them out there playing. So he's aware of that. I think he regrets his reaction when he got the suspension and I'm sure he'll behave himself well and put in a good performance for the team. If England do qualify, they will face either Italy or Spain, who beat Ireland and Croatia respectively to advance from their group. English champions Manchester City are reportedly after Spain striker Fernando Llorente. Llorente scored 24 goals for Athletic Bilbao last season and the Basque Country Club have warned City they would need to offer at least £30 million to activate the player's release clause. Meanwhile, Didier Drogba looks set to join Chinese side Shanghai Shenhua in a staggering £25 million deal. During a promotional visit to India, Drogba spoke about his decision to leave Stamford Bridge and that an announcement on his future would be made soon. It was difficult for me to, to leave that team because my heart is blue and uh, everybody knows that uh, I love the fans and uh, we built a, a special relationship there with the club, with the, the owner, with the fans. And we managed to, to make Chelsea Football Club, football club to, to become a, a brand all around the world. And um, the next step is, uh, is going to be an interesting one. And uh, I think soon we're going to, I'm going to announce it. Everybody's going to know. But um, for now, I just ask you to wait a few, few, few moments. Drogba ended his Chelsea career on a high, converting the decisive penalty kick to win the Blues their first Champions League. A move to China will reunite him with former Chelsea striker Nicholas Anelka.